chances of being injured are massively increased. So to keep you on the field and out of the emergency room, TouchNZ have made a short and easy warm-up series for all levels, proven to lower the chance of injury by close to 50%. So head on over to our site and check them out. Play safe, play smart. The kaupapa of Amohia Te Waiora is to promote alcohol harm minimisation that is mana enhancing, community owned and strength based. Amohia Te Waiora means to uphold wellness. It's designed to be championed by communities, whānau and people who want to change the place of alcohol in our society. We support local and cross-government actions that make alcohol less visible, less affordable and less available to help shift social norms. This is our contribution to a healthier and more equitable Aotearoa. Because we're stronger when we got it all together, work together, support each other, haka together, take the field together, afi each other, be there for each other, manaki one another, stand together. Let's reduce alcohol harm, Aotearoa. Sport. It feeds our lives, builds our communities. It is our light, our love, our laughter. Sport's got your back, and so do we. Kia to you, If you're tuning back in with us from our first game, no my hooky mai, and if you're with us for the first time, welcome. This is day one of the PTLs, the elite tournament run by Touch New Zealand, where we get all of our high-performance players together to set them up for the upcoming international calendar, which this year is the World Cup over in England. I'm joined in commentary by Shane Edwards. Shane, what a first game we had. And unfortunately, the weather's come out for our second game, but should be an exciting one with the two teams we have out in front of us. Yeah, kia ora mai. Welcome back, everybody. No mai hooky mai. Yeah, the weather has set in a little bit for this, our second, our third game of the day. Uh, the conditions are wet, but the field is nice and solid, so shouldn't be too much problems with keeping our feet on the ground. However, the ball control from our players will have to be exceptional for this game because there is a lot of water around. Um, two teams joining us today, Maya. We've got our team here from our Monaco region, but because it's a franchise, we've got players from the South Island joining them, the Monaco Raiders. We've got players from across the country. Yeah, we've got Turnbull and Seabeck. Seabeck both from down at the Canterbury regions, or even though Turnbull um, from Otago, I think, played for counties at this year's nationals. Yet we've got a range of players. Just one thing in the little break that we had, Shane, that's really different and I wouldn't say odd, but different is when you're at a national tournament, there's normally 16 to 20 fields full all day from the first whistle all the way through to the last, whereas uh, the situation we find ourselves here at this tournament, only having five teams, every two games we have a break, so it was, it was quite weird to have a lull in atmosphere and intensity before this game. Yeah, it's a, it's a speed tournament where you've only got a few number of teams. You've got to give the players some break between games so they can be at their best. Gives them a chance to go away, regroup, do some thinking. And they've come together in such a short time, Maya, that getting connections, getting understanding. You're kind of coaching on steroids, to be fair. It's a, it's a tough gig, and you've got to recover and get yourself right really, really quickly. So that break is important for the players. Yep. We've seen uh, the 07 Heat, the Waikato-based team there they'll be getting us tapped off and this is the second of our live stream games here on day two coached by Mere Nock. Mere Nock, what a calendar year she has had success 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 first with her un- over 27s uh women's team at the masters gold medalist then coaching the Waikato Open women's and now with this team so um, I look forward to continued success as we see Sonia Wirihana who will be accompanied by Shay Spivey and Aaron Tucker to ref this, the second of our live stream games in the women's grade. This is our second game for the Heat um, and winning their first game. 
Not sure how Monaco went in their first game, Maya, but both teams have had a chance to adjust, adjust to the conditions, to get their connections, um, and we're expecting a really good game here as the Monaco team bring it off their line as the Raiders come centre field now. Yeah, I feel sorry for these wahine. The, the, the first game we had that wasn't on the live stream that was pouring down with rain and then a minute before the men's game started there was not a drop in sight and now as we start this the second it's raining again yeah these ladies have had um, some tough conditions this morning but they've turned up to play and the ball handling has been pretty good considering the conditions as our heat bring it off the line and box hard there's Cody there uh, she played for uh, North Harbour at the Nationals just a while ago and here she is playing for the Heat. An example, I guess, Meyer, of how people move around franchises and they do enjoy moving franchise, franchises. A bit of refreshment for them, playing with new people, making new relationships. Big part of our game rather than being in the same environments forever and a day. Yeah, totally. We had a couple of conversations just in that break with players who are talking about their team splitting up and now going into three different franchises. So a lot of pros and cons for me, though. One thing that is really missing is the tribalism that we normally find, Shane, when you start playing in the County's Monaco team from when you're six all the way up to when you're 26. That 20 years experience building up that tribalism just isn't quite here at this tournament, but this tournament is about achieving different outcomes. We see a, a nice break there from the number five from Monaco Raiders, Caitlin Bushell. Yeah, nice defence there from the Heat. They ran the short side, did the Raiders, and we stayed mirror, player on player, all the way to the end. Trust each other on defence. Don't leave your mirror. Nice taxi or traveller run there. Bit of bit of work in the ruck there, and the Heat have pulled that penalty. Alicia will now take this ball forward. Uh, her daytime job is a touch development officer in her region, giving back to the schools and the young people. Some of our provinces lucky enough to have some of these people working with them. Alana Iramir brings it forward. Kaya Kepa, who will be uh, probably last tournament for this year as she heads into the netball program. Um, former secondary school's netball rep and tracking well in her netball career, but loving her touch. Sure. Run the outplay there. Long ball right to left. Get it down. Go, you good thing. Go. One of Morrinsville's finest. She is, that is Alicia McCoy. She does milking in the evening and milking in the morning and touch during the day, Maya. I'm sure she does a bit of, uh, oh, not at school. Uh, no, not at school anymore. School of life, Maya. Way yeah. to get that ball down. The uh, little birdie told me you might have something to do with this 07 Heat team, Shane. Uh, involved in them in the past, um, and now they've got the very capable Merinok and Mainu Hidama, and they are doing great jobs. Great to see these young people coming forward. Really want to acknowledge the Monaco Raiders. Girls coming all the way up, ladies coming all the way up from Otago. Such committed to the sport and working together with other players. Dana Turnbull there, former New Zealand captain, former New Zealand women's open player, up here playing with the Raiders and also uh, represented counties Monaco. So big commitments from Dana uh, coming up from Dunedin where she lives and works to play this game of touch. Well coached, of course, that's team by Jean. Jean Marsh, long-time contributor, commitment to the nth degree to our sport. Yeah, partners in crime, Jean and Dana, the last couple of years. Uh, the, the experienced heads in that County's Monaco team that was playing at the Nationals. Play through call here. Be interesting to see. No, ref believed that the 07 Heat got the advantage. Didn't go back for the penalty. Nice profile run there by Kate Finley off the back. As the Raiders box strong. Trying to get connection with their dummy half. On comes the latcher. Nice strike there from Link from Ariona Itamir. And she got a nice red touch. Forces the error. And it will be heat ball. Like the way Ariona stepped up from Link there. Didn't need her middles to make that touch. So they could drop under and be in good defensive position. Strong working. As Vaisina goes down the sideline. It's great to see Dana healthy for a couple of seasons there. Shane obviously dealing with injury, but everything has a silver lining and it gave her the opportunity to do a lot of coaching and development. And we're seeing a lot of players that under her tutelage now are finding themselves um, key players in their club teams, their provincial teams, and, and a few of them here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, long time contributors to our sport, growing, playing in the past, uh, playing in the present, and growing the future. Couldn't do it without them. Nice strike there from Kaya Kepa, coming from far from wide side. Nice reach in there, get in into her channel. Nice tread work. Nice high, high middle work. Kaya again. And nice defense. 
We've got a mirror here, and that's well looked after. Touch pass, I think the call, Meyer. Re the ladies adjusting superbly to these challenging conditions. So we're going to have to carry strong. Look after the ball at all costs. Nice, getting back in between two players. Yep, only five minutes in, and we've had a couple of errors, Shane, but with the way the conditions are, the, the girls have been really, really accurate for the best part of this game. I think in these conditions, Maya, you just want real direct play, driving hard and strong to the middle of the field, uh, keeping the forward momentum going, not too much jinking and diving, as Punny Potts runs short side, looking to connect, try and lose your mirror. Whoa, what? I didn't see what's that. No, handover, and the Raiders will bring it from the far side. Good recovery there from the Monaco Raiders. Looked promising for the 07 Heat. Well, good mirror defence. Staying on the shoulder with an arm's reach of the player so she couldn't get it down. Nice check off by Dana in these conditions. Latcher comes on. They'll hit midfield. Looking for a dummy half. Okay, we want to get our dummy half there quick. We'll throw back in here. Throw again. Would have been a nice one to throw again. And handover. We want to start in our game to start to use the check check and look to put players into space and keep the ball movement um, playing with the defence. Conditions might be restricting that a bit for the ladies. Yeah, I was going to ask that, whether that sort of reduces a bit in conditions like this, Jay. Absolutely. They've got to play safe in these early stages of the game. The wiser thing is to make no errors. Drive direct, get in between two players and ask some questions. As we c come down the lane, go to the outside. Peeler comes. The number 20. How do you pronounce her first name? It's not Vecina, is it? Yeah, Vecina. Vecina. Yeah, Vecina. Apologise to Vecina as I was butchering her name the whole Open Nationals. And I said it a lot because what an incredible talent she is. Every time it come out to her on the link, she'd do a little quickie step back, go under, and the defender had absolutely no chance. So it was great to see Dynamic and powerful. Um, one of our many players that coming back from injuries. And just the strength of these players to get injured, to recuperate, uh, to do the recovery work and get back into our sport. Incredible. As we go off, nice high strike. Bring the sweep around. We want to try and get some forward momentum here. We're going a little bit lateral. And that's a great touch. Probably got a little bit lateral and going sideways there, forcing the error. Meant that we weren't able to be strong at ruck as we went sideways and could get pushed off the mark and earn the error. Okay, Monaco Raiders setting up here, middle of the field. It's a quickie, quickie play here for sure. Two middles close together, stepping back, getting tight. And that's nice play by Cody there. So easy. Just not quite making the score line. Good call. You talked about that in the first game, Shane. Playing through, being the greatest advantage to the non-defending team, as we see here on the replay. In the middle, Turnbull and McDowell. Great to see McDowell in the middle. Plays a lot. Link wing. Using the advantage, listening. Quite odd when that final touch was probably made with the number two actually standing beyond the score line. Taking full advantage was Turnbull. Even things up. One all. Interesting call. One player offside, the other player making the touch. Maya, how do you interpret that? Yeah, oh, sometimes you almost get in your head as a referee that that player's taken out of play and basically isn't going to get the opportunity to make a touch. Now, that might sound weird because obviously once you get onside, you should be able to. But I think sometimes such is the disadvantage caused by the uh, offside player that that's almost the picture you have in your head. Heat, though, straight back into attack. Good set of deep. Great from... deep by the Raiders. Always the key set in that Shane, the one after you score. Make sure that's your best set of defence. Just the piggyback penalty here. Heat a little bit too keen. Yep, they're getting some good momentum here, the Raiders, and you'll want to stop the momentum now. Um, there'll be shifts in the, mo in the movement, um, so trying to stop this momentum will be helpful. Take the energy out. That's a great yard there. Dummy half and quick, and we're running at a retreating defence. Oh, unlucky. Well, that was building nicely for the Raiders. Oh, turnover straight away. Bang, bang, two turnovers. We had the... The maestro, the, the Mr. Touch himself, talking to us a little bit earlier, Shane, around um, making sure if there is a dominant hand that you like to make the touch with, that you kick to that side of the defending player so you can 
roll the ball with your dominant hand? Yeah, what Pete was saying is most players like to roll the ball with their right hand and make the touch with the left hand. If you want to do that and you're on the wrong side of the play, you're going to have to kick out to the side so that you can use their left hand. Of course, the better thing for our coaches across New Zealand to do is coach our players to be ambidextrous, can play the ball with right or left hand, it doesn't matter which. And if we can get those core skills in our players at a young level, we won't have a weak side at affecting the touch. Sort of a contradiction of pitches there, with uh, Turnbull getting caught dummy half. <laughs> We've just seen a touchdown. A yeah, player actually player. standing over the scoreline, and that one will make a touch before it. Players will need to adjust. They're asking good questions. Great yards. Yeah, that's a nice Crombie. drive. Needed a good dummy half in there to keep going, keep going forward. Keep the speed on. Go forward. Drive forward in between players. Running them now. Short side. Pass inside. Goes to ground. Maybe didn't need that cut there, Shane. Probably had them. The dummy half pick was so good. Got on the outside of that cornering defender. Or could have been three on two. Yeah, whenever we're setting up for that strike dump, trying to get behind the high player and in behind them and between two players, pull them together, pinch the two middles together, and we get a nice, clean, clean scoop, and that asks the best questions. Nice struck, uh, drive there from Monaco Raiders. Much better set for them. Second touch now. I think. Momentum still with Monaco Raiders. They're building again nicely. McDowell here working with. Run short Sivar. side. That's three times in a row on the defensive set, Shane. That those seven here are just get, getting caught out one short of the seven metre score line. And it's really good work from the Monaco Raiders listening to the referee, hearing their offside, taking the advantage, simple draw and pass. Great dive from the tent, from the heat, but unfortunately couldn't quite get there. Yeah, what's happening is as the as the attacker's running at them and then starts to step, the defender is stopping. They'd be better to pull straight back to the line and defend from there. If someone jinks and stops and ste steps in front of you, you keep going backwards. So they're just holding up the defense, pulling the penalty and getting the advantage. Great play by the Raiders. We nearly seen it, the magic that she possesses. The simple quickly, we might see it again. No, nope. fake the outside, come back left. Look to get a tip on. There's a strong touch. No need to apologize for that one. Really, yeah. really good lift. Nice and early. Got the ball and the defender at the same time. Yeah, Vecina is deceptive, hugely dynamic and powerful. Probably wanted our link to be a little bit deeper then off the pass so that she had time to receive and link up with her outside winger to create a touchdown as the turnover from the Raiders to the Heat. Adjusting well to these conditions, the rain has dropped away a little bit, which will be helpful for both teams. Shane, the Heat, oh sorry, we talked about how many players are coming from different areas to play for these franchises. The Heat look pretty centralised though, localised, sorry. Yeah, with the with the small amount of build-up, to be fair, Meyer, uh, they, they went out and said who was available, and they took players that are kind of coming out of their, um, out of their Nationals team. Um, a good half dozen not available though, but mostly locally. So you're telling me that literally these teams got together post the Open National Tournament? To be fair, Maya, um, straight after the Nationals Tournament, players need a week to recover. Their bodies are sore. They've had a New Zealand camp a week ago, and then they've gone into this. So if you can imagine, they've gone NTLs, New Zealand camp for selection, and now they're here this week. Three weeks in a row. The opportunity to pull players together and train uh, before a New Zealand camp you wouldn't do because you wouldn't injure them. And then straight after the New Zealand camp, you've basically got six days before this event. The ability to get one training in would probably be a privilege. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So these teams are really building these combinations this weekend. So by, by tomorrow, after they've all had four games together, I'm sure we'll actually get to see the best out of the best in the business in this country. To be fair, Maya, some of them will be trying to learn each other's name. <laughs> um, but at the top level, you adjust. Uh, we saw a nice touchdown there by Vecina. Again, deceptive, dynamic, strong, able to get to ground early. As we go, sweeper coming round. We come back, the short side, it's a mirror here. It's got to be a mirror, and it is. Uh, yeah, uh, Bushel caught her name quite a lot at the uh, Open Nationals. A really strong player. I thought it was actually for the county's Monaco. Uh, open woman's team. Uh, see a typical Dana play there. Brings the sweep around, comes back short side, trying to get outside her player. Suck the link in and throw to the link. But good defense there. They just stay mirror. Um, because she's dummy half, she can't score. Just keep chasing. 
I'd like to see a, fo a player follow her on a little ninja on the inside of Dana. She could throw that. Ninja get the ball and she could bump around on that. Um, some real good options off that running short side off a, off a fake sweep. Good opportunity now for the Raiders. A fresh set starting in the attacking half. The player you've just been talking about, very experienced. Not too many have the touch IQ she does. There's an opportunity here. If they could defend this, Dana would have been on four sets. We'd try and run her on, a, on D if we could get her. She stayed on for attack, which is the right thing to do. I'd be trying to look to get a turnover and run at her. Okay, now I'd start to attack the two middles who have been on a long time. They'll be tanked. So they really want to be driving at the middles now. But the Heat have decided to go box hard. And we'll probably see Dana in the other middle have got off. No, she's still on. So I'd be looking for an attack on the two middles that have done four sets. What's the referee called here? Forward pass off the ruck, Forward pass off the ruck. Yep. Fuck up. Yes. Moore. Fortunately. First one, I think, in this game. They had a really good set going there, did the 07 heat chain. Just unfortunately, the, the timing from the runner, not quite there, but it hasn't hampered them. They have the ball pretty much right back where they turned it over. So yeah. Fresh set. Clear communications and the weather is important. Coming round close, coming round wide. Not just, yes, here I am. You've got to be very specific with your communication in the wet conditions because there's so much extra work to do as a dummy half in the rain. I love the speed that Potts comes around whenever she does a sweep. It's, it gives her another metre and a half almost on the defender. The defender's really at a loss when they see Potts sweeping around. Yeah, she's running at a retreating defence. The defence has got to find the line. Um, it's a perfect opportunity to take advantage of that. Being at Brett, getting our sweepers around at the right time. So as soon as they get the ball, they're running straight at that toucher who's still offside. Last one, so we've got to step up here. Okay, I think the momentum stopped now. We're just kind of even now, Maya. I'm not sure what's happened, but I think Turnbull has not gone off. Maybe it's done six sets. Yeah, she's really leading here. She knows how important it is to try and score here to kind of win this battle of momentum. Um, and great fitness from Dana to stay on for this many sets. I'd still be targeting her. She's at link. Um, Yep, I'd run something around that 32 lane between the middle and the link where those two players have been for ages. What's the rest say? Called her on. Well, it looked like the player um, threw her feet back to go on or behind the scoreline. So it must be a lot closer than it looked on the screen. The, the scoreline there, can't quite see the lines. They do look a little bit tired now. They'll be looking to box off. They do look a little bit fatigued and here they'll, be, they'll be enjoying a break oh, now. Great extra Nice pass. extra. That's what we need, more extras. Could have thrown inside and thrown again. Hopcroft has been real energy. I watched her in the earlier game too. She's definitely one of the energizers of this team that really lifts them, that brings that intensity, that spark that every team needs. Yeah, you've got to have rah-rah people that can drive the team down when questions are being asked or when you're at tanks level and they can get another 10% out of you with their energy levels. It's, it's infectious. Who was that back in your day? Was that you? Yeah, i known for a bit of voice, to be fair, Meyer. <laughs> okay, as we see the Heat run a 32. Ooh, they ran a 33 there. The ref's not happy that they're onside. Great consistency by this referee. I've seen him rule that at both ends of the field. And as a player and a spectator, all you can ask for is consistency, and we're seeing that today. Great to see. Also, the conditions have got a lot of better. There's no rain now. I wouldn't say the sun has peaked its head through, but it has stopped raining. I'm sure that'll help both teams in their handling of the sport. Loving the referee there. They didn't pull for rolling. You won't get that in the World Cup, so I'm loving the way they're doing that. Is she on? Second Skin penalty, the penalty. Now, Giving the penalty. Wasn't happy with that. One more, and the Monaco Raiders team will find themselves down to five. Such a tricky one, eh, Meyer? The player wasn't on. The poor ball goes down. Is it a try or is it a penalty? He's, he's had enough. He said, no, you weren't onside. I'm going to award this. Touchdown. That's what we want. Tries all day. Give me a meat pie. 3-2. <laughs> the Heat go up over this Monaco Raiders team. Very patient by the Heat. You can see that. You can feel the momentum shift. 
Nice underneath. Well done. The referee's given them a fair opportunity to find the line. The second time he said, no, I'm going to play a try here. You've had opportunity. You've got to step off that white line. All our coaches out there, teach our players to V-line. Drop early. Get up into the channel. V-line, V-line all day. Such is the diving technique. You find players put the ball down about a metre to half a metre down on the grass before they get to the scoreline. But with these conditions, it was only just making it to that white painted grass. As they hear the hooter, which will end the first half as Heat, though. They try and take a touchdown. Great catch and pass. 3-2, though, Heat. Hitting back with the last two in that first half, the second of our live stream games. We'll be right back for the second half just after this break. The kaupapa of Amohia Te Waiora is to promote alcohol harm minimisation that is mana enhancing, community owned and strength based. Amohia Te Waiora means to uphold wellness. It's designed to be championed by communities, whānau and people who want to change the place of alcohol in our society. We support local and cross government actions that make alcohol less visible, less affordable and less available to help shift social norms. This is our contribution to a healthier and more equitable Aotearoa. Because we're stronger when we go it all together, work together, support each other, haka together, take the field together, afi each other, be there for each other, manaki one another, stand together. Let's reduce alcohol harm Aotearoa. Sport. It feeds our lives, builds our communities. It is our light, our love, our laughter. Sport's got your back, and so do we. You know, back for the, just at the halftime break, it's the second of our live stream games between the Monaco Raiders and the 07 Heat. We've seen the Monaco Raiders get out to a two touch, uh, one touchdown lead there, 3-2 at one stage, sorry, 2-1 at one stage, and then the Heat have hit back with the last two touchdowns, 3-2. What's your uh, summary of that first half? Oh, I thought the ladies uh, uh, did really well in those conditions, Maya. It was pretty wet at the start. The rain's gone now. Um, I think uh, with the dry paddock, that's helped the heat a lot. Um, they haven't made so many errors. They're going to have to adjust to the referees and listen really carefully. The referees have been really clear and consistent. Two feet on the line, else I'm playing through. And we saw that in the first half. Um, I'm looking forward to a really exciting second half, especially if this rain stays away. Difference for me, Shane, was what the Heat did in that second 10 minutes in that first half, and that's through that transition area. They seem to be a lot more direct like we've seen from the Northern Strikers in, the, in that uh, open men's grade. They seem to be down the middle a lot more with a lot more momentum, getting that um, Raiders team to be backpedaling the whole way, just rolling back to the defensive line. So I'm sure adjustments will be made on both sides. The Raiders won't want a continuation of that. Except for 32 platform, far side. Brings them into the field. Now we're going to a 33. Dana, will she step back and throw? No, she's going right-handed. Nice. So yeah, you really want to defend hard on the right-hand side with Dana because she throws right to left. 86% of the world's population are right-handed, Maya. So you really want to make sure you've got good defenders on the right side as the Heat bring it off the line. Is that a uh, Edward statistic, or is that one actually come out of the statistic it's, manual? It's out of Uncle Google. In fact, I think in 2023 it went to 89% of the world's population. Check it out now on Google. How much of the world's population is right-handed, Farno? I think it is uh, decreasing quite rapidly, in particular for our touch teams. I remembered back to the youth nationals, and I had uh, uh, Maddie Sinclair in with me, and we both talked about how many touchdowns were scored from left to right long balls from all genders, all grades. So it is definitely something. If you can, everyone passes right to left, defences can get set up. As we see Fowler now down this left-hand touchline. Yep, nice 
nice relay there straight across to stretch in the field relaying the ball through the hands creating some stretch we don't use our wingers enough we should stretch trust them with their skills we go short side three two must be three two would have been a lovely one to throw inside as we go last play everyone's up yep want to get high off that last one alicia rolls the ball to ariona and the heat will try and get off nice roll ball nice play the ball there Who'd be the leader? Nice of, lift by that winger. Who'd be the leader in this Heat team? Um, uh, they've got a couple of leaders, but you'll probably see Punny Potts doing a fair bit of leading, I think. Um, she's competitive. She's hungry. And then we've got some people like Kea Kepa here who are big-time athletes at the moment. And um, so they've just found their maturity. They've found their confidence. They're in other sports, both Punny and Kaya, um, unavailable for New Zealand because they're tracking netball at the moment. But they're competitors. Raiders, good set of defence. Good position to be in. Fresh legs on. You see Turnbull coming into the field, just relaxed. Coming back from Australia, just um, the speed of the women's game there is exciting, Maya. Um, the speed that they get through the field, the, the pace of their running was um, really impressive. Bat on. Hard luck. Okay, we'll have a 21 roll ball far side uh, on the Raiders box as we, as, as we try and get out. Kaya Kepa driving it forward. She's been on a set. She'll want to get off now. Elena takes it over to 21 Ruck. We're looking for a latcher. Here she comes. Looking to check. The idea was right. We want to be checking that ball. It's got a little bit slow and flat. And we're on our side of the halfway. You want to get over the other side. We're going to go for the length, are we? We're going to try and run the length. You may. Let's play on. Good hustle there. Yep. Turnbull showing the space for the 07 heat and just shutting that down and then Fowler going around the back. Great hustle there from Fowler. Done a big session. Those last three sets. Oh, oh. oh that's a 50-50 one really that one, isn't it? Did you, I could hear the contact here from the commentary box in that touch. Yeah, it's a it's a tough one but the ref um, wants to keep them apart, wants the game to be played fair and so he's decided to put his mark on the game and all credit to him. Okay, we want to stay in front of our touches here. At middle, middle, we want to stay touch. Where's the short side? Get around, get under, get in, get in, get in, get in. Nice work. Totec, Cody. Okay, let's look at this last touch. Was it a strong touch or a flick touch? Did she get dynamic? Quite a soft touch. She's going to get around now. We're in trouble here. And the links come in on the short side. And yes. And by soft, you simply mean it didn't have really much impact on the attacker yeah. in terms of slowing her momentum down or making the roll ball difficult. Yeah, she could step forward over the ball. She could block. She could be a, um, give you an ugly picture because she's in the way. We needed to dislodge her balance, just make it more difficult, give us half a second for her to have to think about controlling and playing the ball. She didn't need that half second, and at the end of the day, it was a quarter second difference. Setting strong here. They're sending two middles up. Okay, the Raiders sending two middles up, so you'll be wanting to check off between middle and link, middle and link, pulling that link up. Here they go again. They're sending two high points, so you want to check off middle and link rather than playing around the middles. You see that, Meyer? Two middles coming up. The links are hanging back. So what you try and do in that situation, Farno, is you play middle, link, middle, link. Try and, try and bite that link up. What's your Fikado with regards to sending the two middles up? Obviously, for the most amount of years I can remember, you're always wanting to have that point defender, particularly down on the scoreline. What do you think the philosophy is there? Yeah, no, um, you used to send one up, but you'd, they'd get in behind you. They could do some damage. You've always got to have two defenders up on that line. It'll either be a middle-middle or a middle, um, a middle, a middle back and a link. But you've got to have two in that front line for the checking off option. Parallel, though? Uh, yep, they can be parallel. Australia, UQ Rebels play a lot of two middles up in the middle. But what you do to do is you really read really, really well when you need to drop. Strike dump here. Okay, Kaya working in the middle here. We want to get a dummy half in there quick. We've got to chase hard for this. Opportunities here to drive. We've got to take every opportunity. Don't waste a single touch. We're going to bring a sweep around. Running long ball. Kapow! Forward pass, I think. Great I, call by our ref. I like the vision there from the attacking player. Seeing that the defender, touching defender, had fallen over that 
both the winger and the link had come into shut, so went long. Just unfortunately, wasn't able to pass it as accurately as needed. It drifted forward. Why was that pass a little bit challenging, Meyer? What? Left to right. Because we know that 86% of the world's population is right-handed, and she was asked to throw left to right. Okay, as the Raiders come down the line, nice profile. We're mirroring. We've got a mirror. Great. Great work. Good mirror by Elena. Okay, we're at three all in an exciting game. Yeah, three all. It is a contest. I mean, I've got no skin in the game, unlike potentially you do, but I, I guess for me, whenever I'm on the commentary, it's, it's the contest that I want to see because it always brings just that energy to the game, even if it is a one all. That's better driving, going to Rick. We've got to get yards. The touch field is 70 metres long. We need to get down to the 68th metre to be on that seven. We had a nil all game on the live stream in the secondary schools. First time I've ever heard about it happening, let alone it being on the live stream. Now, so hard to see a nil all game in any sports, <laughs> yeah. soccer, anything nowadays. You don't get nil all games. That's an incredible defensive effort from both teams. Much better set here so far. 12 and a half minutes coming up on the clock as the Raiders press hard on attack here. Weather conditions are fine. What's he said? Oh, he was going to say Good touch call. pass, but there was a hand in there. You always want to be touching on the shoulder, Maya. Keep your hands out of that passing lane because you won't get the call. Stay out of the passing lane. Leave the chocolate alone. You're going to have to move here. Great V-line. Yep. Keep your hand out of the cookie jar is the key. Yeah, big questions here. Big big questions here. Um, got to get inside. Kate's got to be on the inside of Tia. She'll look after the short side. Kate, get in. We're going. Mira Long ball over the top. I think that's try. Yes, it is. Great work there from McDowell. Beautiful pass. I think that's Bailey McDowell. Just comes, gets the quickie from the middle. Simple 3-3 three, three dump. Sees where the numbers are and puts it. Right on the money spot, right there. Great yeah. catch, foul up. Beautiful touchdown. And back we go. One try, touchdown lead, 4-3. Really want that winger higher in the channel. You could see that the link was up high. The winger was back. And you had a broken defensive line. We need both. Way to pull the penalty. Nice red touch. 4-3, Raiders. Crombie there. Earned that one for her team, Nicky Crombie. Big set. Still a quarter of the game to go. Raiders just going up. Oh, what a read there. Yeah, great the read right by the side. link. Great read by the link. Okay, punny pots at middle. They said. You beautiful opportunity. Ooh. She is striking well. Beautiful opportunity to run phase there. If you know that you've got a player that's going to strike, set it up so she strikes and then run at her straight after the strike. I'd be trying to get a play on that link that strikes quite hard. We're going long ball. Is that forward? Forward pass it was. I'm not sure about that hard touch call there, Shane. Uh, the, the attacker had no idea that the defending was coming from, and that's really the attacker's fault. However, it was a hard touch. Yeah, our job to be strong at the ruck when we carry the ball. We accept the call. Raiders, good set of defense. Pressing hard. Nicky Crombie, they're trying. Punny Potts pressing hard. That's two touches, four meters. They're going to relay now. Three touches, not out of their half. Need a good one here. Fourth, they're going to have to scoop from halfway. We're looking for check, check options now. We want to shut this off. It's getting two yards last, and we're running. Nice, and we're running. Oh, Touch pass. Very good defensive effort by the 07 Heat. They worked hard for that turnover, kept them away from the line. You'd want them to get down there to have, a, have three goes. That's a big yard. Got to affect our touches. Teach our kids to affect the touch. It's a core skill in all conditions. People say it's wet, but when you're playing in the heat, it's sweaty. So you're always going to have some moisture on the ball, whether it's wet or whether it's hot. Teach them to affect the touch with both hands in all conditions. We're running for appeal. We go short side. We've run numbers. Left to right. Easy as you like. She must be part of the 14% that you referred to as being left to right passes. That was a gorgeous pass there. Probably Out not the actually, wing. Mike, because if you have a look at her pass, it was an underpass. Let's have a look at the replay. So we'll come back to Kaya. Does she go over the top or under? Yeah, I'm not sure if it was an over the top or the under, but it was a great pass left to right and nice put down. It was on the money and it's now 4 all. 
This battle continues between the Raiders and the 07 Heat. And that was beautiful work by our Runnor Community Trust replay. As the Raiders drive it down. We've got a great game here for all. Eight and a half minutes to go in this game. And the rain has come back. So now it's a double test match. Hopcroft, I'm not sure she's been get off under, the right hand. Get under, up. she's going to come back. Really, really loose in the middle there from those seven heat because Turnbull actually looked like she did a double take at where she was going to go there. It wasn't one of those sweep around plays at top speed. Yeah, we get the touch, touch there from Kate Finlay. She now can get back into the game, but walked over her own touch line and was unable to recover and make the touch. Then Great hit back straight away there from the Raiders. Yep, Good something work. to work on there on defence. You've got to hit the line and get back up. You've got to drop, you've got to lift. It's no use dropping without a lift. Teach our players, drop, lift, drop, lift. Fortunately, the wind's picked up with the rain. We're actually getting rain in the commentary booth here. Not square in the roll ball. You must have your shoulders facing direct. Unfortunate error, and errors are costly. As the clock ticks down, still seven and a half minutes. Plenty of time for either side to win this game. Yeah, nice running here, going direct. Timu into dummy half, Turnbull on. Every time she comes on, it's sort of, I wouldn't say fresh sick. Yeah, I'd like to see more speed. I'd like to see our game running fast as we build for the World Cup. Trying to challenge ourselves to run fast. Six more. Pot's not happy with that call. Hand in the lane, what you talked about though, Shane, you can almost guarantee... If your hand is in the passing lane, it will be six again. Yep, lift your elbows. Lift your elbows in the touch. Make all touches in the chest area. You will not win a hand in the lane call. Much. Nice mirror by Alicia. Two-handed touch on the chest. Good mirror. Nice pass there too. You see there, Maya, um, we're not... No, um, no yards gained off the first touch. No yards gained off the second touch. We'll be wanting to go direct. Going to the box from the far side, difficult to get momentum. The Heat would probably want to take one to the middle. One thing I really liked about the Countess Monaco Open men's team is if they were on the far side, they, they knew the key was to get forward first. Because if you can get forward first, then when you do go across to your sub box, you're going across in a forward momentum rather than just completely laterally. Yeah, two things you want to coach all of our teams in New Zealand is drive the ball forward and run fast. The two golden rules. If you've never and pass coached, left or right. <laughs> if you've never coached before, just say those two things and you look like a master coach. As we go again, Raiders going for the short dive. Called on. These conditions will test us. They'll test teams in terms of whether they can get on side quickly. Know where the line is. Another sweeper coming. Go short side. Down through the back. It's got big long mirror. It's a long mirror. Everyone hold their mirrors. Hopcroft comes back Great and support. Great touchdown. This is fantastic work by Hopcroft. If you see in the back of the screen here, Shane, firstly she runs to the left and then she's tracked. Let's have a look she, at that. She's mirror. tracked McDowell down the whole way. We see Hopcroft in the back of the screen. The number 11 gets into space, doesn't just run towards the person with the ball, but into the space to give her. That is a fantastic touchdown and well-deserved, probably by a player who's done the most mahi in this game, Hopcroft, the number 11 for the Raiders. Helpful lead now from the Raiders. You saw in that last one, um, Elena and Kaya got confused in defence there, kind of crossed over each other. Kaya went to take Elena's back, left the hole, went open side, and um, Raiders' quick thinking took advantage of that. Kind of need to get our comms earlier and say who's making the touch and where they're going post-touch. So you want to get your pre-touch position and your post-touch action really clear on the line. Nice yards now. Raiders have their tail up. They want to ice this game, so they're going to work hard to not let the Heat back in. The Heat have to score three tries to win the game. And they've got four minutes to do it. Oh, Great call. <laughs> Great call. Did not play at that. The hand was there, but she did not intentionally put her hand in the ruck, in the play. I'll tell you what's impressed me. You, you've been talking about lifting up on the line a couple of times. Uh, he'd haven't done it. But we've just seen that last set of defense from the Raiders, and they're making decisions from two meters off the line, such as their lift, making it almost impossible for the Heat to get around the outside of them, let alone go through the middle of them. Yeah, drop, lift, drop, lift. You've got to be a four-play a four play player. You've got to be able to drop, lift, drop, lift. Teach all our kids that. As we drive the ball forward, 
Punny Pot's looking aggressive here. Checks off. We're looking to take a 33 drive. Need to drive this. Five and final. To be fair, we had the drive on. We had the drive on, and then we went away from the dummy half who was ready to strike. We probably could have driven that one. The Heat would have wanted to drive that one as the Raiders drive it out now. Nice play. This is a good time to lift. See how they lifted their Meyer because we didn't have a dummy half ready to release. So they were able to lift, and we're lifting again. Nice. Third touch, still not across halfway. Again, it's going to be... Oh, good play. Probably not quite... Raiders looking for a strike dump. Play through. Okay. It's been a real difference from McDowell. If, if you wouldn't have seen it, but right, in, yeah. the, in the team that she played for at Nationals, was on the wing or in the link spot. So being a ball player at this level of the game, it's great to see. Yeah, and the Heat now starting to find themselves frustrated on the scoreboard and frustrated by the calls. Referee said he's not happy with that play. Forward off the ruck. Very consistent, our referees, on that play today. No arguments there. They're understanding the pitches better in terms of looking at both where the dumper shifts to. If they're planting the ball and moving forward and the dummy half throws it to them from where they planted, then, you know, the <laughs> logic tells you that it has to be a forward pass. So it's great to see our referees having that understanding of what that pitcher should be telling them. How do you all know? I think it is. Yeah. Uh, first touches, first drives by both teams. They're both going lateral. They're getting less than a metre on the first touch. Um, we, need, we need systems that get us a better first touch to turn the team around. Our touch is 2-3 and will be hard, and you won't get out of your half. So first touch um, is important for both these teams, and they'll need to do some thinking about that to progress further into the tournament. Johnston with the board. Okay, let's see this through. first touch, Meyer. Do they get go forward? How many metres are they going to get? Three metres. Okay, so that's, that's progressive. Second touch has got them another six metres. Here comes third touch. Now the team's rolling. Could have used a strong drive. A little bit flat at the ruck, but we're driving forward. That's better drive. We're going to have a strike dump here, and we're off. Short side. Ref's happy with the onside. Yeah, it just seems like the seven might be tightening up a little bit, particularly towards the end of sets there, Shane. Yeah. You can just see the dummy half attackers getting frustrated. They're picking the ball up, taking two or three steps and almost meeting the defender. Yeah, referees work hard, just as hard as players, Meyer, and fatigue plays a part in everyone's game. The fitness on these referees has been great. Nice strike at link, at wing. Well done. It's not okay, let's see what the yards they get. First touch yard. We're going, we rolled it on the seven, and there you can see the problems, Maya. We've got to get a better first drive for both teams if they're going to get out of their half and be on the attacking seven. <laughs> Need players running now. We're looking for a strike dump, are we? There's no dummy half with Nkui, but we've picked up now. We're running. Yeah, and pulled a penalty. Oh, no, handover. Just that connection at dummy half. Nice strike. Not enough people into play early. And defeats our strike. Okay. We're getting a lot of whistle now. There's obviously some dissatisfaction. And that's full time. A well-earned victory by the Raiders 6-4. And there's um, a little bit of challenge out here. Referees are wanting to impress on the players uh, what their expectations are. Good refereeing. Very interesting here, decision here. Uh, the sideline referee actually come onto the field and he's halted play. He's asked the far sideline referee to come into the game. And this has all happened after the last minute hooter. I think the frustration you talked about, probably scoreboard frustration by the 07 Heat has crept into the sub box where there's been a few comments made. Looks like after all of that, it's okay. going to be a penalty for no, back chat. Yeah, a little bit different in Australia. They just X you. There's no conversations. We just X you and get no on, problem. and your coaches and managers take care of your discipline. Uh, it's not the referee's job there to be a mediator. So um, the referees here's if you a penalty, this will be the plus play. They'll walk up, shake hands, and everyone will go and have a coffee. And there you see it, Fano. the end of our second live stream game, the first in our women's grade between the Raiders and the Heat. It, the score definitely reflects the dominance that... 
the Monaco Raiders had. Great performance, 6-4. And that takes us to the end of our second game. And in 10 minutes time, we'll have the third in our men's grade. So be back with us. Mo Tonu Mike. Field one. Oh, Stephen, he misses the...